Thank you. Very clever. We identified a known sodium transporter that holds on to sodium from your gut and from your kidneys um, to be prerequisite to holding on to calcium from your intestine and from your kidneys. Essentially, this molecule, when you eat too much sodium, is not working as well as it needs to, right? Because you want to pee out more sodium and absorb less. So then, the consequence is, is that it's. it's is that you pee out more calcium and you pee out and you absorb less calcium. And the long-term consequences of that is that you're in a negative calcium balance, so you will have thin bones, and because you're peeing too much calcium, you're at increased risk of it precipitating as a kidney stone, so increased risk of kidney stones. Yeah. It suggests that we should be limiting the amount of sodium intake we have so that we can conserve the amount of calcium that our body is able to hold on to such that we can build healthy bones and minimize our risk of developing kidney stones. Particularly if we have kidney stones, minimizing the risk of having further kidney stones, we should be on a low sodium diet. And if we have thin bones, we should be eliminating the amount of sodium in our diet such that we can try to maintain our bone mass. It opens a new area to explore in the relationship between sodium and calcium and identifies a molecule and potentially an entire pathway that could be regulated to disconnect how we hold on to sodium from calcium.